What is up guys, FeverStrayGHC here bringing you another episode of the Newcastle Career Mode and in this first game of the episode we are going to come up against Southampton who, like I said in the one we played them before, they do have Nathaniel Klein who is a great player but nothing is going to happen, we're going to go into halftime being 0-0 zero, zero. so you know me, we're going to make some substitutions and you know I'll make it a little faster so you guys don't have to see them that you know, you can see who I'm subbing out, who I'm not subbing out but we do bring in some younger players, but that is how it's going to end at 0-2-0. Zero zero. So we do tie the first game, and uh, that's going to be a recurring theme in this episode. It's I don't know, I guess I was playing uh, Resident Evil 6 recently, and that game's unbelievable if you guys haven't played it. Great game, but I was just lost my FIFA touch, I guess. But MB is on the Newcastle fringes, so he's, like, he's a little disappointed with us not playing in that much. So I was like, alright, you know what? You're young, but we'll see. We're in third place right now, so why don't I give you a shot? So I do decide to give him a shot in the first team. I, th either, I either put him in the... No, I do put him in the first team for Stanton uh, at first. I should have put him in for Ryan Taylor, but stupid move, but, uh, you know, whatever. And then we do put uh, back Nastasic in, and then this is just me going through. Remember how I said the one for the future? Always check him out. So I do go to check out this one for the future, and uh, he is from Tijuana, uh, I forget what his name is, it's Via something, but uh, we do try to search him, and you can see he's right there, he's a left mid, and he's not worth that much, so he's not as good as the left back from Barcelona B we saw, but then we do get an international management offer from Ecuador, and I was like, no, no I'm not going to do it, so we do deny that offer, and coming up we do get the, who, the, um, Stra uh, strikes, sorry, scouts bring back, and uh, we, they do get one good person from England, and uh, that's pretty much it, you know, I think there's decent from Russia, but not going to worth it, and then we do get 400,000 from the FA Cup, which is pretty decent as well, now let's go into the next game, it will be against Man City, you do remember us last time beating them 5 to nothing. Ridiculous score. They haven't really made any changes to the squad. I don't think they picked up anyone actually that I can see But we're gonna get into it and at halftime it is 0-0 zero, zero. So uh, you know me we're gonna make some substitutions and You know a little fast so you don't see it, but not everyone's tired I guess that we weren't really running that well and uh, or running that much in this game so everyone was kind of tired, and then we do get an opportunity right here. Let's go, it's going to head it back. Ba is right there, but he cannot put it in. So that is going to end the game at a 0-0 tie again. So two games, two points. At least we're getting points out of them. You know, that's the only good thing we can say. But then final scores from around. Arsenal still in first. Wins again. Just ridiculous. And then we do get this email. Tim Krul has suffered an injury for about seven days. So I was like, crap. We don't really have a good goalkeeper. We have Anwick or Almwick and Harper and I was like alright you know what Almwick's a little younger because Harper's retiring so why don't we put Almwick in so we do put him in and then uh, we do get the report back and doesn't look to be too good so I do release both of these players but we get into our next game and it is against Stoke City so uh, hopefully we can score in this one uh, and as you can see they didn't really pick up anyone at at all either but we own a halftime again 0-0 zero, zero. so me gonna make my three subs hopefully that'll change something 67th minute let's do this and we did get a yellow card so we are going to sub him out and then we do see the you see the subjects going on we do try to make uh, a little bit more up front because trying to end that scoring streak and it doesn't help we end up tying again zero zero three points three games ties for days i don't know what it is I'm telling you resident evil 6 i've been playing that more often lost my fifa touch but uh, Arsenal won again, Man City won again, so we get to start winning. And uh, we come up against Fulham, 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 sorry, I can't really talk today, in the last game of the episode. And they actually, oh, it's not this episode, sorry. I, as you guys know, I'm a couple episodes ahead, but Berbatov, like Calfrey said, is an absolute beast. But can we break the scoring? Yes, we can, with Cisse in the 10th minute, gets the first goal for us in, what is that, three games? Just ridiculous. I don't know how we didn't score in three games, but we do. And uh, Cesar is going to put it in the back of the net, so ending the scoring drought right there. So then we are going to. It actually went into halftime being one to nothing us. Uh, I forgot to show that, sorry. But we do make a substitution, and I think it does help, as you can see. No. Goodbye. Was already on yellow, side tackles, gets a red. Please do tell me. Do you guys think this was a red? I mean, he did get the ball at first, but just the extra slide there. Ah. Uh, 
you know. So we lose Kabai. He will be out for the next game. But in the 86 minute, Muriel is going to use his like 92 pace, get by him, big touch pass, and then just going to blast one into the back of net with his right foot. Boom! Into the top right hand corner. 88th minute, solidifying the victory 2 to nothing in our favor. So we finally get three points out of a game. Thank God. So, four games. Well, they do get a free kick, but it's obviously going to miss. <laughs> so, it was four games and six points. So, not the greatest, not the worst. At least we get points every game. 2 nothing victory for us there, as you can see. So, not too bad. But then final scores from around. Uh, no one close to us on the table was uh, tied. But I'm just going to show you the squatter point. Jack Anwick, who played two games for us, has gone up a little bit in something, not in overall. Ryan Taylor, two in overall from a 73 to a 75. And we have Fabricio Colaccini went up from an 81 to an 82 at 31 years old. Not bad. Nastasic went from a 75 to a 77. Great going up there. And B went, hasn't gone up at all in his overall, but some stats are going up there. Czech Teote has gone up from an 82 to an 83. Stats are going up there, as you can see. Stefan El Sharaway went up from an 76 to a 79. Look at those stats. Ola John went up from a 76 to a 77. 20 years old, getting some good stats. Demba Ba went up from an 82 to an 84. Going up with some good stats there. Luis Muriel went from a 78 to a 81, so going up great. Luis Muriel, great player. Papi Cisse went from an 83, or 82 to an 83, up one. Then we have and she did, our scouted player went a 5 from a 59 to a 64. Sammy Abiobi from a 64 to a 66. So solid increases. Raheem Sterling up 2 to a 73 from a 71. And we have Harris Vukic up to a 70 from a 65. So great increase in him. Then we have DeMarcos went up from a 75 to a 78 already if we got him. So great, great increase. David Santon went up to a 4 from a 75 to a 79. Great increase for Santon. And we have Koyate went from a 74 to a 77. Again, great increase by everyone here. And then we have Yon Kabai, who has stayed the same, but some stats are starting to go up. So let's see. James Perch from a 70 to a 72. Haven't played him in a while, but stats still go up, so not too bad. Atim Benarfu has been out for a while, up to an 83 from an 81. Good stats overall. Paul Dumel, who haven't played yet, back from loan, up from a 60 to a 61. Boy, already up to a 70 from a 67, so we definitely got to play him soon. Curtis Good, up nothing. Nothing at all to say about him. Have played him. Then we have Brigma, who we sent on loan. I guess he did go up a little bit to a 64. It doesn't say, but he did. Then we have Ranger from a 7, or 67 to a 69, going up. Gosling, haven't played him at all, but actually stats are going up. Not too bad. And we have Anita, who we haven't played in a while. Might get rid of him. Let me know. Up to a 77, though. But Overton, up to a 73. Hasn't played at all, either. Gonna look to get rid of him. Tim Cruel, even though he's injured right now, up to an 83 from a 79. So, great increase. Danny Simpson, hasn't played at all. Probably gonna get rid of him. <laughs> Just hasn't gone up. Then we have Steven Taylor, who hasn't played in a while, but he went up to a 77. Might get rid of him. I don't know yet. But then we have Jonas Gutierrez, who used to play. He's starting to go down a little bit because he is getting old, but 78. And Steven Harper, down 5 to a 66. Really bad. <laughs> And then we have Moya, who just who is still on loan, up to a 63. So look at those stats increase. Then Tavarian, Tavaria, Tarverner, I don't know how to say it, 63. He's going up in stats. And then Abied, up 5 to a 66. Look at that, 9 or 80 strength. Very good player. So that is going to be the squad report. And then I'm going to show you the league table. We are in third place with... Uh, that is 62 points. We are tied for Man United for 62 points overall. So... We are down by six points with, I want to say, I think there's eight-ish, six-ish games remaining. So, you know, you guys are going to have to stick around to see if we do finish in the Champions League, Euro League, or we win the league. You guys will just have to see. But this has been FIBA Strike HD. If you guys could like, I really would appreciate it. If you guys are subscribed, thank you very much. If you aren't subscribed, I highly suggest that you do. But, like I said, this has been FIBA Strike HD, and I will see you guys later. Peace.